Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. And it, it, <laughs> I wasn't expecting this to happen. So we got the results from last week. And uh, it was for the overall championship for this whole tournament, remember. The matchup was Bomberman against Bandana Waddle If Bomberman won, tournament was over. Bandana Waddle won. We get one more match because, again, Bomberman has yet to lose. It's the double elimination part of the tournament, right? <sighs> We're just jumping right into this. <laughs> I mean, we know, right? Bandana Waddle Dee ended up defeating Bomberman pretty big time. 44 votes for Bandana D. 24 for Bomberman, and here's the cool thing. Um, I truly believe when I was looking at all the votes again, kind of making sure there was no shenanigans, you know, with some, you know, we know what I'm talking about. But uh, going through that, I I believe that there was only two attempts. So I only threw out two votes. I'm not going to tell you who that was for, but I, I only threw out two that seemed very suspicious -y. So, again, that wouldn't have mattered. So Bandana Waddle Dee wins that matchup, which means we are on the absolute last match of the tournament. We get one final match. This is it. Results of this, obviously, we'll get next Tuesday, next week. We still got the one week to vote for everything. That's how this always has been. So, uh, I mean, like, come on, this is, I feel like this is a, actually kind of a fitting way to end everything, right? That one final chance, right? Like, think back, okay? Here, here's, here's how, here's one reason why I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. Bandana Waddleby's in the championship. Back when we started the these tournaments over two years ago, right? That's another thing I, I might talk about a little bit. These tournaments, but we'll get to that. So one reason I'm very happy that Bandana Waddleby is in the championship gets one more match. Those tournaments we started two years ago, do you remember, I mean, I've talked about this before, you guys will probably remember, maybe some newer people might not, but I'll explain it. Bandana Waddle Dee had some very iconic matches, some very, uh, a really cool rivalry with uh, Shantae. Bandana Waddle Dee always would get matched up, and like that was always the character. Every time Bandana Dee got to face Shantae, Shantae always won and kind of cut off Bandana Dee's momentum. This was the one tournament that Shantae was not, did not partake in. And uh, look how far Bandana D has come. Bandana D is in the absolute final championship match. Winner take all. Whoever gets the most votes, once we find that out for next week. That's crazy. So, like, I'm, I'm pretty, that's, that's cool to see to me. Like, uh, I, know, I know some people, like, remember back when this whole thing actually started. This tournament, the upgraded tournament. Shantae, I had originally had in... But I left it up to you guys to a vote. Do we keep Shantae in or do we say, nah, she's pretty much going to win because she always wins the tournaments? We said no, so I replaced her with somebody else. Totally fine. That's how we did it. But just to think Bandana Waddle Dee ended up doing that, didn't have to face Shantae, and look where Bandana Dee ends up getting. Bandana Dee, keep in mind, I'm going to go, I went over this last week, but I want to do this again. So Bandana Waddle Dee, where did he. Bandana D lost in the uh, in the winner's bracket, the semifinals. Lost to Gino. So had a good route, right? Defeated both characters. Bomberman included. They both defeated several great characters. Defeated Waluigi, uh, Dixie Kong, where we at? Rayman, and Shovel Knight. That was just the winner's bracket. And then if you dropped to the loser bracket, again, I know I went over this last week, but uh, I'm just showing like the path that Bandana D went through to get here, right? Then uh, Jill Valentine in the loser bracket defeated Rayman again in the loser in the loser bracket. Got his revenge against Gino in the loser bracket to get to the championship where he had to win one more. T he had to defeat Bomberman to get that chance to end up winning the whole thing, which he did. Bandana D's fans uh, they showed up. I mean Bomberman kind of dropped right going to Bomberman against Gino. Forty two votes for Gino or sorry. 42 votes for Bomberman in the winner's bracket championship. And then he comes back with only 24. So if Bomberman's going to win this, he's going to need uh, gonna need that, that, uh, those supporters to show back up, right? I honestly, because again, I don't count these the, the votes up until pretty much like the, the just a couple hours before I actually upload this. 
So I had no idea. I pro I went into this thinking Bomberman was going to win. I was going to just say, all right, go with the results. Here's your winner. Here's the breakdown of everything. Nope, that's going to be next week. And I'll touch on that again real quick. The breakdown. So we'll get, we will crown the, the most wanted upgraded uh, character. That's what we will crown the winner of that next week. And also separately, I will have a list of every character, the place that they finished in the tournament. So one through... 48, 1 through 49, however many characters are in this tournament. We'll have the seedings for that. And then I will have a separate chart as well. Each character, 1 through 49, whatever it was, determined on the number of overall votes that they got. So the placement could be a bit different for the two lists, but that will be next week. We'll get all that stuff. So th this is uh, this is really fun. This <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Bandana Waddle D ends up coming all the way back. Didn't have to face Shantae. I th I think that would have been so much more fitting, though, if Bandana D could have gotten to the, the finals or the championship and it defeated Shantae. That would have made the win so much more sweeter. Because, I can't, again, if I remember correctly, Bandana D's faced Shantae four times. He's lost all four times to her. He's had some pretty close matches with her, but he's lost all four times. So, I don't know, just to see... Hey, his biggest adversary, his biggest foe, not in the tournament. Look where it gets him. Look at look at this fan showing up and uh, you know voting for him. That's pretty cool, right? But now f flip side of the coin, right? Bomberman's still in this. Keep in mind, Bomberman I think has had the well I can't say the fewest matches, but uh, he had the fewest matches in the winners bracket because he he won uh, several matches and then he never dropped to the loser bracket. So somebody like a Bandana D. They went pretty far in the winner's bracket, dropped to the loser bracket, had to win quite a few more just to get to the overall championship. I mean, we know Bomberman defeated Geno by two votes. Before that was the King Boo. Before that, Rex and Pyra. Before that, we had uh, Isaac, the assist trophy. Battle the assist trophies right there. Uh, who do you have before that? Pauline with the absolute huge blowout and Shadow in the first round. So Bomberman, absolutely just, he's up there. Like, when I count, when I tally up the votes, I read every single comment, and it's so cool to see, you know, the support. I guess that's a, that's a good way to put it. The support for the characters that you guys vote for. Some people just say, "Hey, I vote for you know, Bandana Waddle and that's totally fine. That's all you need to do. But the ones that go out and say, "Hey, I'll vote for Bandana D because I don't know, he's a, he was a childhood, uh, you know." Uh, like, one of my favorite characters growing up as a kid. So whatever. Something like that. And then you kind of go into stories. It's really cool to see that stuff. Even if it's characters I don't like. Like, I love reading that kind of stuff. Like, why why do people get invested into specific characters? Why do people uh, enjoy this character? Why do they want to see this character in Smash Bros., right? It, it's fun reading that stuff. And uh, Bomberman's been there for quite... For, I mean, like, he, he, he won, right? He, he won the winner's bracket championship he's now in the overall championship obviously just lost by 20 big gap so uh, bomberman fans if you want him to win you're going to need to show up way more than you did the first time again you can still vote the exact same way as you did in the last match you can flip-flop your vote if you want to you could vote for both if you want to which is totally fine but one more match got to vote one final time results will be next week now i do believe and it's totally fine. Again, your vote is your vote. You you vote for whoever you want. But I do I, I believe a little bit, a little bit, because uh, the uh, what was the game? The Kirby Fighters Two that got uh, announced and what released or something. I haven't even played the game, but I think that came out. And you know, Kirby Fighters is pretty somewhat similar to Smash Bros. And isn't Bandanity a playable character in there? And I've seen some really crazy uh, DLC theories right for Smash Bros. Like hey. He's out here, you know, uh, the Kirby Fighter 2 gets released, and now all these kind of things are starting to line up for the next Smash character to be announced or revealed very soon, which is pretty cool. And everyone's like, well, Kirby just had a Smash Bros. style game, therefore it has to be Bandana Waddle Oh, <laughs> how many times do we have to go through these cycles <laughs> just because a game gets announced? No matter what it is, whether it's a first party game, whether it's a third-party game getting ported over to uh, the Switch or Nintendo console for the first time. Everyone just jumps on that train like, that's it. Instant confirm. This character's hands down happening. It's the next character. And then it never happens. And then 
Fire, queue it up again. Next next character cycle. Like, oh, this this game just got ported over. Oh. <laughs> so uh, what my point was, I think uh, Bandana D did get a few maybe extra votes because of uh, the Kirby Fighter 2, whatever that game was. I think he got a few votes, but oh, well, I can't stop that. I can't stop that. You vote for whoever you want. But uh, one final match. Yeah. One final match. I'm not switching my vote. I'm sticking with where I am. Because, again, I always go by my most wanted list. Bomberman is ahead of Bandana D just barely. But Bomberman is still getting my vote. You guys got to let me know one final time. Who are you voting for? Who's going to be the most wanted upgraded character? Find that out next Tuesday with the results for, you know, the, this whole tournament. We'll get that next week. All right? So that'll be fun. Um, not much more to say, man. I, th this is a, I think it's a pretty fitting way to, to end it, right? We do get that one more match. The tournament is not, not quite done yet. <laughs> Doesn't want to go away yet. Because, again, remember, no more tournaments until the next Smash game. But that, that's like five, six, seven years away at this point, right? That'll be on the next Nintendo console. We'll worry about that then. We'll worry about that then. <laughs> right now, we got this matchup to figure out. So... I got nothing more to say than, other than let me know who you guys got one final time. Bomberman or Bandana Waddle Dee. At this point, I don't, need, I don't need to break down any characters. Most of us have been here long enough. You know who you're going to vote for. You know why you're going to vote for him. Let's see who turns out. Let's see. Is Bandana D going to get the epic comeback and sweep Bomberman 2-0? Or is Bomberman, is his fans going to show up? Bigger than, well, last week. I don't know. We'll see. That is all I got for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, get ready to crown a champion. That's right. Get ready to unofficially say and find out who's the most wanted upgradable character. And, okay. Oh, I got I to. Somebody mentioned this, and I got to touch on this real quick. If, for some reason, between now and next Tuesday when we get the results... If the next Smash Fighter happens to get announced, and for some reason it happens to either be Bandana D or Bomberman, I'm just going to give the win to the other character. All right, because that means that character gets in. So, as an example, say Bandana D does happen to get announced as the next DLC fighter, Bomberman will win the tournament just by default. That's how that's how that will go. That's if that happens. Again, I mean, we we got one week, one week. There's a chance it does get announced. I know there was a Pokemon Direct earlier today, but that has nothing to do with this. But uh, maybe Smash News is closer than we think. Maybe even by the time that uh, this gets uploaded, maybe there is even an announcement like, hey, Sakurai presents the next fighter. I'm not holding my breath on that, but I just want to cover that. So that is all we got for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I guess I'll see you when I'm looking at you. I don't know what that was.